Hey this is Sundar from C4 eTech and in this video I'm gonna unbox the Coolpad Max and show you a glimpse of what it's got. A point of note, it's the higher end variant of the phone with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. So let's get started. Here's the box. Opening it up, we've got the phone itself. Let me keep that aside for the moment. A SIM ejector tool, there's the earphones. And then we've got the micro USB cable, it's a flat cable by the way. Travel adapter, it's a 5 volt 2.2 amps adapter. And there's another box. Opening it up, we've got a screen protector and a case. The case looks decent, feels good in hand, let's now peel the plastic off. To the front, there's the earpiece, a 5 megapixel front facing camera and the regular sensors. Below that, we have a 5.5 inch full HD display covered by 2.5D glass. The Max uses on screen buttons, so there's nothing at the bottom. To the back, we have a 13 megapixel camera with a dual tone dual LED flash, a secondary noise cancelling microphone, a fingerprint sensor and the cool pad branding. Up top, we've got a 3.5mm headphone jack. The speaker and a micro USB port are located at the bottom. The volume rockers can be found to the left, and to the right we have the power button and a tray. Here we have a SIM and a hybrid slot, meaning you can add either two SIM cards or a SIM and a micro SD card. It's got metal written all over it. The sides are curved, which by the way is what I personally prefer. Feels good in hand. Single-handed use though is not gonna be easy, but come on it's a phablet after all. Under the hood, it's got the Snapdragon 617 chip containing 8 low-powered Cortex-A53 cores clocked at 1.5GHz each, coupled with the Adreno 405 GPU, and you also get 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage like I mentioned at the start. All of this is powered by a 2800mAh battery. This phone runs on Cool UI 8 based on Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. No, we don't have Marshmallow here. The Cool UI, by the way, is Coolpad's custom skin. Anyway, let's have a look at the apps. That's a lot of clutter. I'm probably never gonna use most of these. So actually, the cool UI is not so cool when it comes to being clean. So anyway, I'm gonna register my fingerprint and have a look at the sensor's performance. The registration is hassle-free. The fingerprint sensor here on Coolpad Max seems to be quick. Feels faster than a lot of phones I know, and definitely faster than the iPhone SE. The virtual keys at the bottom can be reconfigured. It's got enough combinations, enough to cover most people's preferences. Down below, you can see what each key indicates. While Cool UI 8 may not be based on Marshmallow, it's still got a pretty decent permission manager. So here's a list of permissions you can enable or disable for each application. I spotted something weird, did you? Rock wallpaper. Actually, it's pretty cool, changing the wallpaper by just tapping the icon. Anyway, let's now play around with the camera. The shutter speed is decent. It's got a pro mode where you can change all sorts of settings white balance, ISO, exposure, shutter speed and so on. The Coolpad Max shoots 1080p videos at 30 frames per second, no 4K here. Tapping the top right corner, you get more modes, long exposure, sound and shot, GIF and so on. So that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think about the Coolpad Max? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And do give this video a thumbs up and stay subscribed for more videos like this. If you wanna support the channel, consider changing your Flipkart and Amazon bookmarks to ones with our affiliate IDs. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, this is Sundar from C4E Tech, leaving for the moment. Have a great day.